Well, hello everybody. I'm Johnny Highland here in my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And guys, I'm so tickled today to be bringing you this video on the new JHS pedals that I just got from Summer Nam. I was so excited to meet these guys, and actually, before Summer Nam hit, I actually acquired one of the Andy Timmons pedals from JHS and I instantly became a fan because that pedal rocks. However, I was really interested in talking to the JHS guys about trying to find pedals that were a little bit different than what I'm used to and I knew they had some really cool new things on the market that I had checked out on YouTube and different things and, and uh, so based on my style of playing guitar it's so funny because JHS automatically knew what I would love and what I was looking for. And of course, I've been building my new studio pedal board. And to be frankly honest, I've been doing a, a lot of sessions lately where I've just needed a good country sound. And so I put this small little pedal board together to do just that. The cool thing is the JHS pedals work so well in providing my fourth pedal board uh, you know, with the tonal values that I needed, and I'm so tickled to be bringing you this video because these pedals smoke. All right, guys, the first JHS pedal we're going to start with is the Pulp and Peel Compressor. Now, guys, I have an enormous amount of compressors in my collection of pedals, and as you know, a compression pedal is very, very important to a chicken picker uh, like myself. So, the Pulp and Peel is a unique compression pedal all in itself. Now just to let you know, I've started my chain with a go-go tuner, which is great. Uh, great for tuning, but man, this compression pedal is so fun. It's real easy to use too, guys. You start up here with you got your volume knob, your compression knob, which actually is great. It adds like sustain and attack as you roll it up. Um, then you also have an EQ knob, which essentially acts as more of a tone control. So you get more high end as you roll it up. And then of course the last knob over here is your blend knob. Now, a blend knob is important because you don't, if you're a guy like me that likes a transparent kind of compression, then you can blend your amp tone and the compression together and actually match the sound to where you're hearing your amp and the compression pedal. That's really important. So let me show you how this bad boy sounds just in the clean tone. <laughs> What a sweet clean tone guys. I love this pedal. Now obviously as I told you it's got the main essentials that any chicken picker would need to make a great compression pedal. But what makes the pulp and peel so unique is this little dip switch in the middle. Now guys what this does is adds dirt to your compression pedal like you're actually adding a uh, you're pulling out a tube halfway or you're cranking up your amp to where the tubes break up. That will actually do it. overdriven tone and who would have thought it would have been in a compression pedal guys JHS you guys rock okay guys the next pedal in the chain we're going to talk about is this bad boy right here this pedal actually came to me uh, from JHS because I actually asked them at the NAMM show about a pedal that would give you a tube breakup sound uh, and using it in a big pedal board with a lot of a lot of wires going everywhere and a lot of different pedals I truly love this pedal it's called the morning glory now guys, with this pedal, you have volume, you have dirt, and I tend to like to think of this one as actually like a tone knob. Um, and of course, the little switch right here gives you two different voicings of the pedal. Uh, it's really cool. I'm going to flip it on and show you actually how I use it in conjunction with the Pulp and Peel. It gives you a really true kind of Danny Gatton-esque kind of tone. Check this out. <laughs> It just puts a little hair of the dog on your tone, guys. That's what I love about this pedal. 
Now the beautiful thing is about JHS pedals that are different than any other pedals on the, on the market is as you roll the volume up, you're actually, it's not really just like a regular volume knob, you're adding girth to your tone, you're adding a, a body to your tone. So I've just turned this volume knob up just a little bit to show you what this sounds like. Now I have not even touched the gain knob from where I set it. Check this out. <laughs> It's so cool guys because you can almost gain harmonics just by moving the volume knob uh, because it, like, it, like I said it adds body. So let's bring the volume back a little bit and bring this gain up. I just want to show you what this pedal sounds like. And in fact I'm going to take the pulp and peel out just so we can really have some fun and crank the gain all the way up here. See what this thing does. <laughs> guys this could be a great pedal for modern country sounds you know anything like Luke Bryant stuff or Jason Aldean what a great sounding pedal it's not going to give you an over-the-top Steve Vai tone but guys if you like that raw edgy kind of you know Rolling Stones kind of distortion or overdrive if you will this pedal is just so awesome I uh, have actually used this pedal in the studio already it sounds phenomenal whether you're using the pulp and peel with it or by itself and a lot of times when it comes to overdrive pedals, you need a compression pedal or something to overdrive it for you. But with the uh, Morning Glory, you don't have to worry about it. Either way, it sounds phenomenal. So now, let's go ahead and move to the third pedal, which is made by JHS. This is actually called the Honeycomb Deluxe. What a phenomenal tremolo pedal. Now guys, I have a lot of trem pedals in my arsenal of pedals. This one is so unique, it is a must-have for any pedal board. And if you like vintage sounds like I do, especially as being a chicken picker, this pedal is unbelievable. What does it do? It gives you two separate vintage sounding tremolos in one pedal. Now guys on YouTube, you can find a lot of videos that demonstrate all of the features of this tremolo pedal. But I just want to show you how I use it. So the button on the left right here actually turns the pedal on. And as you can see, it's switching. It's switching really fast. You can see the light blinking really fast. If I hit this button, this is actually my first tremolo setting, which I would use for something like this. <laughs> tone, what I want you to realize is there are two separate speed knobs for your two different tremolos, number one and number two. So let's just say for an example I want to speed number one up just a little bit. So right there feels pretty good and I want to set number two to be faster. So I click the right switch and I'm going to make this thing really fast. Now basically this is your overall level of the pedal. Now this knob right here actually sets the depth of the tremolo and how much it's going to be really choppy or be nice and fluent. And uh, no, there's no horse in the background. But anyway, I want you to hear what this pedal sounds like. Let's go back to number one setting. And I'm going to set the depth kind of just light, you know, maybe at like 10 or 11 o'clock. Check this out. And I'm going to go back to just a clean tone here.
spring tremolo guys, real vintage, just like it come out of an old Fender amp. Now, you can actually be playing in mid-session with this kind of tremolo, and then hit the right switch and make your actual tremolo speed up. And actually, I'm going to have my buddy TJ assist me as I'm playing, just by showing you how the difference in the switch doesn't change anything except the speed of the tremolo and how it, how it actually affects your tone. Check this out. That's one of the coolest tremolo pedals I've ever seen and heard and experienced. Let me tell you, all JHS pedals, guys, make, are so responsive. When you play your guitar, you have full responsiveness on these pedals, and they're just phenomenal. One thing I would like to mention, too, guys, is there are a lot of other uh, hidden gems inside these pedals that I have failed to mention. So I strongly encourage you to go and check out other demos of these pedals I'm sure you can also go to jhspedals.com and have a full overview of what these pedals do. For an example, the Pulp and Peel actually has a balanced XLR uh, right here on the side, so you can run it direct in the front of your signal chain or however you like to. Plus, there is a gain control on the side for the level of gain that's in the compressor, and there's also a buffer on and off on the side as well. Those things I am actually not showing you right here, and I'm not using them on this little board that I have for sessions or whatnot, but you have the power to do so because JHS thought of everything. Guys, this is Johnny Highland saying what a pleasure it is to be here on behalf of JHS Pedals, and I want to thank everybody there at JHS for being so kind to me. I hope this video has been helpful, and I strongly encourage you to go pick up the JHS Pulp and Peel, the Morning Glory, and the Honeycomb Deluxe today. Cheers, God bless y'all, and we'll see you back here on YouTube real soon.